Hey everybody, uh, it's January 21st of 21, just thought I'd make a pepper um, video update. This is my overwinter chocolate board 9 and uh, got it under the uh, Spider Farmer SF1000 in the grow tent here and uh, it's extremely healthy. It's my first time overwintering any plant um, before, and uh, just wanted to show you the progress. This is a, a plant that actually almost died from um, damping off. It had damping off really bad last year, and I thought it was going to lose it, but I potted it up um, and uh, added some some cinnamon and uh, some hydrogen peroxide put a lot of uh, put a fan on it uh, to dry out the uh, base of the stem and didn't water it for a while and it came back very nicely so here's how it looks it's uh, budding out very green and healthy and I'm probably gonna feed it either today or tomorrow probably tomorrow but uh, really really healthy Again, this is my first overwinter, so hoping it goes well, and uh, should be pumping out some some peppers for me this uh, probably probably late spring. I would suspect late spring, um, late spring, early summer for possibility of peppers. Definitely no later than early summer. But again, this is a chocolate board nine first overwinter in my grow tent under the spider farmer recommended by Harold Great Light. This is on its lowest setting, by the way. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna put my my seedlings in here. What I may do is uh, harden this off and put it outside in the spring and then put my seedlings under this light. It's probably what I'm end up doing. Uh, sometime in the spring all the pepper plants will be out but I'll just have to figure out what I'm going to do. But This is my overwinter grow update uh, for the chocolate board 9. Thank you.